In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a brochure pantry in three simple steps. The first step is to make your hedging container using two one litre bottle. The second step is to make your hatching solution using regular table salt. Now you don't need any special sea salt, you could use any salt, but one thing you have to bear in mind is that you are using non-iodized salt. And lastly, the third step is to hatch the branch eggs and to harvest your freshly hatched branch rings. Now that we have gone through the steps required to make your branch room hatchery, I will now go through the equipment and supplies that you'll need. You will need two bottles, an air pump, some airline tubing with a check valve, a pair of scissors, a drill, regular table salt, branch room pegs, syringe which will be used to harvest your freshly hatched branch rooms, a spoon which will be used to Measure the correct amount of salt and branch room pegs to use in your hatchery. A lamp, which will serve as a light source as well as heat source. Now, don't worry if you don't have a lamp because it will only take a little bit longer for your branch room pegs to hatch. The first thing you would want to do is get the first bottle and cut the base off using your pair of scissors. This can be easily done by cutting around it. This will eventually become your hatching container to hatch your branch root pegs. Then, using your second bottle, cut the top portion off and keep the base as this bottle will be used as a stand to stabilize your hatching container. And in a bit you'll see how it will look like. It looks something like this. Now the next thing you would want to do is unscrew your lid and then get your drill and drill a hole at the center of the lid. Now your hole should be approximately the same size as your airline tubing because if it's too small your airline tubing cannot fit through and if it's too big water could leak out from the lid. In the event of water leaking out you could prevent this through the method of putting silicone around the hole. So you'll see how the hole looks like in a bit. the hole on your lid, you would want to test whether your hole is too big or too small. This can be done by placing your airline tube in through the hole. If that don't go in, it means that your hole is too small. And if that goes in and now easily, it means your hole is too big. Now as you can see on my one, my one's nice and tight. This is just the way you want it and it also means that water won't be leaking out. Now, before placing your lid back onto the bottle, you would want to make a small opening so that your airline tube in could feed out from it. I'll show you how it looks like in a bit. Now, once you have made a hole, this is how it looks like. That's the hole. And that's the hatch. The airline tube in would feed out from here. So, the next thing you would want to do is to get your cap and your bottle. Screw it back on. Get the end of the airline tube in and place it through the hole. Once you've done that, pull it and let your bottle sit. So it should look like this once it's done. Now, for the second step, you'll need to create your own hatching solution. First, turn on your air pump and pour some fresh water that came straight from the tap into the bottle. The air pump will get the water running in a circular motion, which will keep the branch room pegs suspended into the water column. Then, get your salt and pour two tablespoons into the water. If you want, you could use some baking soda to help buffer the pH.
for the third step, take your brown pegs and pour half a teaspoon into the hatching solution. When you see your brown pegs float at the surface of the bottle, don't worry. Simply stir the eggs into the hatching solution to submerge the eggs. Once you have completed all the three steps, you can now keep it in a place where it won't get knocked over. Finally, turn on the lamp and wait for about 36 hours for the brown shrimp eggs to hatch. Here we are 40 hours later and you can see that the colour has changed. It has turned orange which indicates that the brown shrimp eggs has hatched. If you are feeding these to your fry, it is important that you harvest them as soon as possible. This prevents the nutrient from the freshly hatched brown shrimps from diminishing. What you would want to do now is to turn off your air pump and let it settle for about 10 minutes. After letting the eggs do settle, you will be able to see a layer of eggshells floating on the top, a clear column of water and moving down to the neck of the bottle, you will find the freshly hatched baby brown shrimps. At the very bottom, where the bottle cap is, the unhatched eggs will be settling there. If you've done this correctly, you should end up with brown shrimps and these are ready to feed to your friend.